More versus more. Clearing a pathway to national unity. Part 1. For the definition of more, please refer to the videos Blacks, Citizenship, and Nationality, Parts 1 and 2. As these contain a plethora of historical information, put into perspective for those interested in studying Moorish history. However, we will take the time here to give a quick and easy definition. Moors are the forefathers of so-called blacks of Northwest and Southwest Amexum, and of this hemisphere, North, South, and Central America, known as Omex. It must be understood that your native Moorish forefathers of this hemisphere were labeled Negro, Black, Colored, etc. And this is why most so-called Blacks have Native American heritage today. But they are defrauded of the right to claim its benefits because they are labeled Black, Colored, Negro, etc. on their birth certificate. There was no disconnection between North, South, Central Africa and North, South and Central America. Whether it be during the time of Pyramid culture, Hamedic or Kemetic, or during the time of Islamic culture, which completed and preserved the Hamedic and Kemetic way of life. What is a member of the Moorish Science Temple of America? Noble Ali provided ex-slaves with their prior and original name before slavery. P. Ali founded the Moorish Holy Temple of Science of America to pick up where the Freedmen's Bureau left off, to nationalize ex-slaves and free them from the bondage of caste slavery or second-class citizenship under the labels of Negro, Black, Colored, Afro, Indian, and a host of other names and principles that delude to slavery. People belonging to the organization founded by Noble Juali to carry out this great work are members of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Who are Moorish people? Moorish people are those people having Moorish heritage, whether or not they belong to the Moorish Science Temple of America. As is stated in the Holy Quran of the Moorish, no one can change a man from the descendant nature of his forefathers unless his power extends beyond the great universal creator, Allah himself. Moorish people exist in the United States. Whether conscious or unconscious, their descendant nature is still Moorish. Unconscious Moors are termed fallen humanity because they have yet to link themselves with the families of nations by proclaiming their nationality. The thing that all other nations and peoples possess that blacks do not. The Moorish Holy Temple of Science was founded for the purpose of uplifting fallen humanity. Noble Juali provided ex-slaves with their prior and original name before slavery. And the faith practiced by our Moorish forefathers during the Moorish rule of the civilized world, the Order of Islam. We were oppressed by the Roman Catholic structure of superstition and ignorance. Slavery being the culmination of our forefathers' deviation from our Islamic Moorish principles. Though Moors of the recent past governed by Islam, Moorish Muslims, Jews, Christians, and others lived in relative peace amongst one another in national unity. It is a mistake to believe that all Moors think alike. Due to the dual nature of the movement, i.e. national and divine, 
the twain often appear to be obscured. One must first understand that Moor or Moorish is a nationality and an identity. Moors come in all shades and sizes. Moors have many ideologies and many spiritual philosophies, as does any nation of people. Written on the Moorish nationality card, we honor all true and divine prophets. At present, the national unity displayed in our glorious past has become distorted and many or more are at odds with one another as to the true nature of the movement. One have only to visit the many Moorish temples, masjids, organizations, chat rooms, etc. to witness the often heated debate on various issues. These issues include religious, Moorish law, application of the science brought by Noble Juali in general, and even the very usage of the word Moor, Moorish, indigenous Moor, etc. I can imagine myself as an outsider looking in and would probably think it not too pleasant to involve myself with Moors, and this is quite unfortunate. However, as an insider looking out, these discussions could be perceived as a natural evolution and a healthy debate for a nation badly in need of reunification. The Moorish nation comprises of Moorish peoples, whether conscious or unconscious, temples, masjids, churches, bodies of politic, organizations, schools, hospitals, security forces, banks, etc. In essence, all the institutions necessary to govern ourselves. The Moorish Science Temple of America governs temple members. The Moorish nation includes temples as well as many other beneficial Moorish institutions. And the first aim of all things Moorish should be the uplifting of fallen humanity. Having a Moorish Outlook Having a Moorish outlook means being able to see yourself in things. In a national sense, it means being able to see one's national position in the affairs of men or world affairs. The gatekeepers will have to hold fast to the knowledge that they are duty bound to uphold. And if this was not done, then the temple teachings would not be preserved in its original state. And this would be a crime against history. However, a true adept must be able to adapt. And this means breaking the language barrier between the gatekeeper and fallen humanity. Delivering the message or Moorish teaching, whether it be civics, history, law, spiritual, etc. While at the same time demonstrating its relevance to fallen humanity or unconscious Moors. However, the particularities of law often present struggle amongst governmental forces, temple or otherwise. It is however unfortunate that these skirmishes play themselves out in a public arena such as social networks. At the end of the day, you are what your forefathers were without doubt or contradiction. Therefore, no one can lay claim, copyright, or patent one's nationality. Yet if you belong to a temple, masjid, church organization, etc., as a member, certain duties and practices are to be expected of you. Since Moors exist inside and outside the above-mentioned groups, there is a national necessity for a governmental body with congressional representation of all Moorish sectors. Moors don't need to agree on every little detail, but for the greater goal, establish a political and unified effort on which they do agree. One thing is most certain, and that is that Moors do exist as a nation of people in the United States, 
And while the nationhood question has yet to be resolved by so-called blacks in America, Moorish nationality has historically served to resolve the quote-unquote Negro question and would seem to be the only viable solution on the table in modern times. Thank you for watching. 1492, you came up on the shores, 700 years, educated by the Moors.